Hi, I'm Charlie Ayuno and welcome to Christ Corridor Red Deer. This coming Sunday I would like to share about this overcoming discouragements. You know, discouragement is like a disease that affects us all. Even great men in the Bible experience discouragement. And uh, what is discouragement? You know, it is a, it is a, a, a feeling of uh, despair in the face of obstacles. It is a sense that whatever you're doing, nothing will, will turn out well. What causes discouragements? In the text that I would like to share this coming Sunday about the life of Elijah, there are at least four things. Number one, fatigue or physical exhaustion. Number two, uh, frustrations. When everything pile up and uh, support is not coming, you get, uh, you get discouraged. Number two, uh, uh, fear. You're afraid of uh, the unknown, of uh, responsibility, of criticisms can breed discouragements as well. And lastly, failure. You know, even the best laid plan sometimes can crumble. And if plans crumble, sometimes it can lead to great discouragements as well. So uh, what uh, discouragement can do in our lives is terrible. Number one, it can drain our strength. Number two, it can uh, kill a vision that God has for us, the destiny that He installed for us. And number three, it can dump in confidence. You don't want to take more initiative because you are discouraged. The Bible prescribes at least five important things to overcome discouragements. Number one, prayer. Pray honestly to God when you are discouraged. Number two, uh, take a break, rest. Sometimes the most holy thing you can do is to eat and sleep. Number three, avail the ministry of the holy angels. Uh, the Bible says that they are there to serve those who will inherit the uh, kingdom of God. Number four, move on because the enemy wanted you to stop. And number five, always seek God's direction. You know, uh, Jesus said, in this world we will have trouble, we will have uh, challenges, we will have discouragements. But Jesus is very clear in saying, cheer up, take heart, I have overcome the world. And if you follow Jesus, you will overcome too. Again, this is Charlie Ayuno, encouraging you to live for eternity. And you can start it here at Christ Corridor right there. We'll see you.